Well, hello everyone, this is Catherine Toon, and I just wanted to minister to, to you today about God as a God of peace. And, you know, a lot of us, uh, you know, we kind of grow up, we talk about that, whatever, but the truth is we're really struggling to really enter that place. I run to a lot of fabulous believers who know the word of God, who know all this stuff and are just really struggling just with their peace level. Um, and you know what? There's no condemnation, Christ Jesus, but hallelujah, there is help. And God is there to help you. He's the Prince of Peace. The helper is here to help you in that place, to get you in that place of peace. So let me uh, minister this scripture to you today. Um, this is one you already know, but I want you to allow yourself, you know, just because you know it doesn't mean you're experiencing it. So let it minister to you. And I believe you're going to get some fabulous things out of it. So it's from Isaiah 9, and it's verses 6 and 7. For unto us a child is born, that's Jesus, uh, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. Um, and I really felt like what God wanted to unpack for us was this whole concept of his government and his peace being so huge and so expansive, like there is no end. You see, when, when Father God spoke into existence and he said, light be, he spoke light into the chaos of the darkness that was there and light entered. And what happened is that light has been echoing ever since because the kingdom of God has been expanding and expanding and expanding and expanding. And the truth is uh, that in order to keep up with who God is or try to keep up with who God is, the universe has to expand. This is a scientifically uh, accepted and proven fact that we have an expanding universe. Why? Because the echo of what God brought when he brought the foundations of the world and he spoke the universe into existence is still echoing. It's still expanding. Why? Because God is so huge. He can't be limited. And his government and his peace are expanding right along with it. So what does that mean for you? That means you have this ridiculous, fabulous, um, inexhaustible resource. The Word of God says that one third of the kingdom is peace, righteousness, peace, and joy, right? And that is yours for the taking. And so where that's, there's been a disconnect, somehow there's, we've gotten distracted. Um, a lot of times, honestly, we're just forgetful children. We just tend to forget. And so we just need to be reminded, you know, God is never upset that we forget, but he wants, uh, he wants to remind us and he wants us to remind himself. That's why we kind of hang around people who are like-minded. That's why we get into the word. That's why we pray. That's why we do uh, praise and worship, whatever. We're, we're reminding her, ourselves of who God really is so that we can reconnect and receive what God has already given us, right? Um, there's another scripture that says, let peace be the umpire of your heart, sifting and deciding all things, all things with finality. It's like the final word, because I don't know about you, but like when I was trying to make a decision, you know, should I marry my husband, Brian, or should we move here? Or should we accept this job? Well, I, it wasn't written. It, God was so inconsiderate. He just did not include that in the scripture. I mean, don't get that, but whatever that is. And so how do you find out in these places where you've got these big decisions? Like, is this what I'm supposed to do? Well, most people in the world, they have their pro and con list. So let's say you've got, you're, say you're this guy and you've got this gorgeous, amazing woman that you are thinking like, man, I'm going to marry her. And so you do the pro con list and you, we have this in common and blah, blah, blah. And you do that. Okay. And I'm not saying don't do that. Okay. But I'm saying, you know what? God knows things that we don't know. So you better be checking in like, whoa, wait a second. Hmm. How is that feeling in my inner man? Is there peace there? And so let's say you think, well, maybe this is right. So let's Let's say you take a step like, okay, I'm going to start checking out buying some rings to ask this girl to marry me. Well, as you're going to the store, if you start to feel like it doesn't feel right, wow, there's something, wait a second, mm, pay attention to that because you can go around on the pro list all day long, but if you've got this check in your spirit or whatever we, we, you want to term that, you better pay attention to that because God is telling you ding, 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 she's not it. Just 
just say no, right? So, um, but if you continue to develop that piece gets stronger and stronger, you know you're headed in the right direction. You need to start to practice um, paying attention to what's going on inside because that is Holy Spirit saying yes, yes, or no, no. Um, and there can be a lot of crazy going out here, but if you know that you know, um, that'll be will really help you. So I'm gonna tell on myself a little bit. I hope you don't mind. So um, I actually was married once before, um, was for a very short period of time, but I was with this, then it was before I was a believer, um, but um, I was with this dude for 10 years. Okay, so it wasn't like I didn't have a lot of time to get to know this guy. And everybody, my whole family was like, don't marry him, don't marry him. him. But I was determined that I was going to make it work. And so what I did, I had this thing in my spirit that was saying, no, 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 no. But I overrode that. And I said, I'm going to make it work. And I married the dude anyway. Well, hmm, not surprisingly, one, um, uh, one year later, I was in the divorce court. Okay. Not, not anything that I'm proud of, but I overrode what was going on internally. That's an example of a no. So anyway, I actually have some happy things to tell you, but we're kind of running out of time. So maybe we'll save that for another time, the, the happiest part of things. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Check out what we have got going on at katherinetune.com. And as always, you have an amazing day. Well, hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, press that like button and subscribe. We come out with these every week just for you. And while you're at it, go to katherinetune.com. The link is below. And check out my free chapter download, The Object of God's Passion. This is from my Marked by Love book. And that book carries encounters with the person of love. And whenever you encounter God as love, just encountering God, you are transformed. You're being conformed into His image. Your life is being transformed and it is powerful and it is life-giving. So I hope that's a blessing to you and I will see you next time.